And Caleb Floyd was only 17 years old and still had his whole life ahead of him. According to his family, he was the Jacksonville student who was killed in Tuesday's shooting on the north side. Tonight, On Your Side's Haley Harrison spoke to Caleb's uncle and his aunt. They say his loss leaves a huge void for their family that can never be replaced. Devastation. You know, you see it time and time again, and I think sometimes we almost become desensitized. Never did Joy Herring imagine her 17-year-old nephew would be one of the victims of a local shooting like she's seen on TV. Actually, we want justice for Caleb. Um, you know, it's just it's a senseless uh, tragedy. Um, the, the violence that's happening in our in our community is very uh, disturbing and alarming. Robert Herring the second says Caleb Floyd leaves behind his parents and sisters who he loved so dearly. Uh, Caleb was uh, the type of person I would light a room up. He was so independent and dependable. Um, and I know he had great um, desire to go into logistics. Um, that was his, he had a dream. As of Wednesday, no arrests have been made and no suspects have been named in Tuesday's shooting near First Coast High School. The hearings say Caleb's family needs answers. And we just beg in the community if they know something to say something so that if one less parent will have to go through the heartbreak that we're seeing our family go through, then it'll be worth it. A GoFundMe has been set up to help support Caleb's family past the burial expenses as they come to grips with this new normal without their son and brother. I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.